It's no secret that Notion is one of the internet's favorite productivity platforms out there. But did you know these quick tips to help you really speed up your processes? Let's get into it. Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Micah Gonzalez. That's M-I-C-A, Gonzalez with a Z. And today I'm going to show you quick, super quick, but extra handy Notion tips that will really get you productive and speed things up. So be sure to let me know in the comments later if you learn anything new. Let's go ahead and start with the first tip. Take advantage of synced blocks. One of the most obvious use cases for synced blocks are if you have a block of text that you need to reuse over and over somewhere without editing each of them every single time there's a change. This is pretty handy if you have a public facing template or page, for example, and you keep a private version for tinkering and etc. But did you know you can also use sync blocks for a myriad of other uses? One of my favorites is creating a sync to-do list that might appear in different pages or items in a database. And if you're a Notion Power user with a ton of different pages and just want to keep some things front and center, you can even add a sync block at the top of all of your pages to remind you of the most important things that you need. Tip number two is to create template buttons and pages. I don't think I could live without template buttons and pages on Notion. They are one of the best things for someone like me that uses Notion for task and project management. Buttons and templates are handiest for things in your workflow that have some level of repetition. So in my case, a lot of that has to do with content creation. So I'll have templates for adding new YouTube video ideas, blogs, you know, whatever have you. But honestly, I'll create buttons for just about anything. I'm kind of a freak about it just because buttons make Notion kind of feel and operate like an app. So I'll do one for like new meetings with a formatted agenda, or I'll even have a back to home button when I'm managing projects with a whole team that's maybe pretty new to Notion. And you know, let's face it, they might get lost in the workspace. So the little back to home button just helps them out a bit. You can use template buttons and pages for your own tasks, especially if you use Notion across different areas of your life and you need to filter them out pretty easily. Which then brings me to my next tip, which is to make filtered views. With the way I use Notion, if I didn't use filters, I'd probably never know how to manage literally anything that I have on this app. I use filtered views for, again, mostly content and tasks. And you can do this with things like statuses or tags, depending on how you prefer to use Notion and set up your databases. I like statuses for tracking where a task or content piece is in the pipeline while a tag using the select property just helps me categorize any item in a database more clearly. Of course, to use filters and filtered views, you will need to understand how each property on Notion works, but it's really simple to understand. Just try it out by first creating a table database, add a bunch of properties, play around with them a little bit, and just see how the filters and sorting tools work. I promise, when you master filters, you'll really change the way that you use Notion for anything. I mean, if that's what you want to do, of course, it's your notion. Use it how you like. Let's hop on over to the next quick tip. Enable SidePeak. When SidePeak first launched about a couple years after Notion became a crowd favorite app, it was like, finally. As the name suggests, SidePeak lets you click into items within a database and have it open on the side, kind of like a split screen. It's not exactly split screen though, it's just a way to look inside items within your current database without opening it up as a new page altogether. This should be enabled by default on your Notion, but in case you don't have that option yet, or maybe you've accidentally disabled it or don't know how to go back, you can do that by hitting the three dots above any database over here, clicking Layout, then selecting Open Pages in Side Peak. My next quick tip for Notion is to use headings and tables of contents. One of the most basic things you could do with Notion back when it had just launched was create text blocks like headings. And if you're like me and you do a ton of writing or planning on Notion, you absolutely have to use them and back it up with a table of contents to boot. Headings aren't just a visual way to break up long blocks of paragraphs and content. They're also the basis for Notion's table of contents. So here's an example of a planning document that I have that's broken up into a lot of different headings. So if I wanted an easier way to navigate this every time I click in with, all I have to do is add a table of contents by hitting the slash key, looking for a table of contents. And just like that, Notion auto populates a tables of contents using the headings that I have on this page. And now we go into this next quick tip and it's probably the one tip that you should take with you if nothing else from this video and that's to maximize search. 
Look, if you're anything like me, you probably have over a hundred or hundreds of pages on Notion right now. And one of the biggest mistakes I made was I kept trying to remember where different pages were. And so I would try clicking into different things, trying to look at the sidebar. And that was just the most inefficient way to try and find a page. So that's why you absolutely have to take advantage of the Notion search feature. You can access it on either the sidebar or just use the keyboard shortcut command or control P to open up a search bar and then start looking for the page that you're trying to find. It's simple, but it's powerful. Trust me. Get in the habit of opening the search tool and you'll never have to click in and out of things just to find a specific page you're looking for ever again. Simple and powerful is truly one of the best ways to describe Notion and it's no wonder it's basically the internet's favorite productivity app. But there are a lot of amazing apps out there apart from Notion that could really do well for your productivity and if you want to learn what those are, I recommend watching this video over here next.